Fleet TV Plus. He had headlines. Federal government inaugurates flight services on Apapa Ibadan Rail. Loretta Onoche calls on DSS to invite Obi for questioning. Akure Dolu sacks Deputy Governor's media aid. Hungry Nigerians cut away bags of rice from broken down vehicle. Putin reviews Trump's legal battle politically motivated. MC Oluomo's son shows off security details. Shots fired as NURTW functions clash in Abuja. Now the news. The federal government has finally inaugurated the forced cargo movement from the Lagos Ibadan Rail Corridor after initial concern over the underutilization of the standard gauge rail line two years after its commissioning. The inauguration was performed by the Minister of Transportation, Saidu Hakali, during his first official tour of the rail corridor on Tuesday, September 12, 2023. The minister kicked off the tour at the Ibutemeta station before proceeding to Apapa for the launch, then traveled to Ibadan using the 157-kilometer rail corridor. Three coaches of 30 wagons were loaded as the inaugural freight movement was kicked off. The Nigerian Railway Corporation, NRC, said it would start with three coaches per day with its managing director, MD, noting that the corporation had the capacity to scale up the numbers. This effort is expected to decongest the Apapa port as shippers moved 92.28% of Nigeria's total export and 60.77% of imports through the facility in the first quarter of 2022. On to the next. Former presidential media aide and immediate past chairman of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, Loretta Onoche, has called for the interrogation of the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi by security operatives. According to Onoche, Obi has been instigating youth to violence after losing the 2023 presidential election. She therefore called on the Department of State Services, DSS, and the Nigeria Police to invite and grill the former Anambra State Governor. On Tuesday, Onoche took to her account on X, formerly Twitter, where she shared a video of Obi and accused him and his running mate Yusuf Dati Baba Ahmed of instigating Nigerian youth to violence and also trying to use strikes to cripple the country through the labor unions. She further accused Obi of leading some brainless followers to push for a violent change of government because he wants to be declared winner of the 2023 presidential elections at all costs. A lot of people you remove by prayers. So it is time to act, not to pray. The youth, unfortunately, you know how Marcos left office in Philippines? Marcos left office because on a Sunday, Cardinal Sin finished church service. Instead of saying, the mass is landed, let's go. He told everybody today, follow me, and block the presidential lodge. After three days, Marcos and his wife left. It is time for us to close the church and deal with discipline. In another development, Governor Rotimi Akeredo Luavondo State has sacked the media aides attached to his deputy, Honorable Loki Ayedatiwa. It's been gathered that the fear of possible dissolution of the state executive council has gripped the commissioners and other members of the council. Recall that while the governor was away in Germany on medical vacation, the ESCO became polarized. Since the return of the governor last week, some members of the ESCO have expressed fear that their days are numbered, going by the body language of the governor. Meanwhile, the sack of the aides to the deputy governor was coming ahead of the possible dissolution of the state executive's council. The sack of the deputy governor's aides was contained in statements by the governor's chief press secretary, Richard Olatunde in Akure. Akaradolu said the affected aides should submit all government properties in their possession to the acting permanent secretary, office of the deputy governor. Moving on, a video of some Nigerians carrying away bags of rice from a vehicle that broke down while conveying the items to different destinations has been shared online. According to unconfirmed reports, this happened in Ibadan or your state. The residents who carted away the bags of rice could be heard arguing amongst themselves over who first laid hands on the bags of rice. The letter came to a compromise to share the rice amongst themselves.
World News, Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday described legal proceedings against former United States President Donald Trump as politically motivated persecution. The Kremlin has repeatedly spoken out in defense of the former president who is facing a series of charges linked to election interference. Putin said he did not expect any change in United States foreign policy stance towards Russia regardless of whoever will be elected president next year. He also accused Washington of stoking anti-Russian feelings among ordinary Americans. In other news, NURTW boss MC Olomo's son, King West, has shown off the security orderlies that move around with him in order to protect him. The socialites use Instagram to demonstrate how safe he typically feels when leaving his house. In the video he posted, he is seen riding the back seat with a security detail and others visible in a trailing vehicle. Finally, on the news, two functions of the National Union of Road Transport Workers, NURTW, clashed in Abuja on Tuesday as a witness says gunshots were fired during the fracas. But the witness who spoke anonymously said he was unable to identify whether the gunshots were those of police or of the clashing members of the union. The clash is an escalation of the conflicts between members loyal to the NURTW national president Tajuddin Barua and Badru Agbede's supporters. Barua has been seeking the intervention of the Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, to resolve the situation and restore its members to the national headquarters, which is currently taken over by the police. As at the time of filing this report, police authorities were yet to comment on the matter. Thanks for joining our news broadcast. Subscribe on our channel for latest updates. Okoyemi Olugwemi reporting for Flip TV Plus.